What's going on my kitsunes? It's your favorite retail fox, Fox A come back at you with a brand new series here on the Fox A Car YouTube channel. And in today's brand new series, we're actually gonna be planning the first district of a town in a this is basically a project I wanted to bring back for some time, but I couldn't quite figure out the appropriate name for it because I didn't want to use my um original um name for this project out here because of it would it ran the risk of getting me DMCA'd out here, and that's not really something I really want to deal with right now. But anyways, we are building Werewolf City out here. This is a project from a while ago I wanted to bring back, and I'm pretty excited for it, actually. And I was actually originally going to plan out what these specific um, lots were going to be, but ultimately decided that that probably wouldn't be the best idea right now. I kind of prefer to work on it as I go, so that's kind of why I changed it from, um, you know, name brand stuff out here to generic lot numbering systems. And remember, I'm also doing some district platting out here too so obviously I do want to leave this world open for suggestions and stuff like that if you do have any suggestions for um this town out here go ahead and let me know in the comments below this is going to be my first dip we're not going to count the previous dips into this out here but this is going to be kind of like my first um technical dip into left hand drive project building out here and again, this is because this is an old project that I wanted to bring back for some time, but I couldn't quite figure out how to do it without um, potential DMCA troubles out here. So um, yeah, definitely kind of working on the platting of the um, first district out here alongside the river around here. I've still yet to figure out exactly what I want to call this river yet. I have a good feeling I'm going to be getting some suggestions from a certain one out here because I have a feeling he's going to know exactly what project I'm bringing back out here too, considering that the old name of this could have gotten me as soon as I mentioned that it could have got me DFCA, that's exactly what's going to happen out here. But anyways, so yeah, this is kind of a gift project. But anyways, we're currently working on a few of the um, district platting right now. I'm trying to get like a main, main kind of like street, main commercial district out. And a lot of like, you know, apartments, duplexes, like basically as dense, densely packed housing as I can possibly get out here. That's kind of my goal at the moment. I want some nice densely packed housing and I'm going to be also trying to um, minimize the use of Mutilda's lot adjuster. Obviously in some areas I'm definitely going to want to do it. Like for example corner lots out here it's going to be kind of mandatory to have Mutilda's lot adjuster on my side but in this particular case I think I can get away with not using it in most cases. Obviously for the short series it's going to be a whole different ball game. <laughs> gonna be a whole different ball game because I'm gonna be planning something absolutely colossal for the shorts out here and I've got pretty much the rest of Thanksgiving Day to do it once I get the um once I get the showcases for Black Friday done because I'm gonna be away from my computer on Black Friday and obviously I want to release some kind of content on that day especially since the um damage from what happened on Thanksgiving Day seems to be largely containable anyway so why not at least try to contain it you know what I mean why not at least try to do that I feel like that's gonna be the right move but anyways we're now getting to the point where I'm kind of messing around with the terrain a little bit. I'm having the bright idea to um, mess around with some things at the moment. And this is actually a really good looking, as I said, kind of like town so far. I feel like some people have already figured out where this is supposed to be set. But um, I'm going to wait for a friend of mine to kind of like call it first. I'm going to wait for that. And while we're on the subject out here, actually, I don't think saying that's a very good idea on stream. Listen, I've already, or on camera, I should say, this isn't even a stream. I'm not even doing this live right now. I can't stream today because... Too many things have already been thrown at me, but anyways, right now, I don't want to say that on camera because I feel like I've already kind of incriminated myself enough as it is by bringing this back even. And actually, while we're on the subject too, I'm actually working on this, um, I'm actually working on this using a map that I made for another friend of mine a while back, Harley, I believe it was, who wanted to make a, um, custom neighborhood using this map, and I figured... You know, I could actually use this to bring back another project of mine that I did a long, long, long time ago. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now, and I'm pretty excited for it. But anyways, right now, got a few other things going on. As I said, we're kind of like trying to build out like a little river slash um, kind of like an artificial port area that you see in a lot of port cities. Because I don't really see this being like a big touristy beach town out here. Of course, watch me say that and then actually put down a freaking tourist attraction. I mean, I put down a cruise ship terminal later in this episode, so... Yeah, that should tell you that we do want some tourism around here, but not a whole lot, obviously. I want to keep things relatively quiet. So a lot of, I'm also taking a lot of notes from, from another friend of mine out here too. So expect a lot of mountains, a lot of farmlands, a lot of stuff like that. And don't worry, Werewolf City already comes pre-equipped with it. Again, it's a modified version of a map that I used for Sims 2 out here. And yes, we are getting freaking seawalls out here too. Listen, okay, I, I want my seawalls. 
Sea balls are pretty good, but who, what was this map again? I'm actually looking right now actively in my Discord DMs because I was discussing it with Harley, I believe it was. He was the one who actually sent me this map out here. Which was it again? Le Fay. That's what it was. Le Fay. That was the map right there. So, um, yeah, this is a modified version of the Le Fay map. I forgot exactly where it was downloadable from. Let me double check that again because who made this the original SC4 terrain? Because I've never used an SC4 terrain that was made by another simmer before. I've actually only done, like, um, what was it again? I've only used SC4 terrains that are from, what was it again? That are actually created myself. Okay, there's the answer right there. I could not freaking, oh my god. So yeah, um, Imagination Figments is the Tumblr blog in question. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll see if I could leave a link in the description. Although, I might just leave a link to that along with the modified version that I'm using. Because again, the Lefay map on that, and the Lefay map here that you're seeing right now, me build um, Werewolf City on, they are not the same. I'm just going to say it. They are not one and the same, so we are not going to even talk about that right now. But I'll, I might leave a link to both in the description. Again, it really depends on if I remember to do so. And if I forget, someone please remind me in the comments too, because I have, I have already got mushed for a brain right now too. I'm currently recording this while I'm on my mental health break, so... Listen, I'm allowed to make YouTube commentaries on that, okay? That's just, you know, that's just something I'm allowed to do. I'm okay with doing that. Same with the shorts commentaries out here. But, yeah, outside of that, like, the only time, the only thing I'm not allowed to do is stream. And there's a pretty good reason for that. As I said, there's already a high chance of, um, plans for that getting ruined. So, might as well use time here because, you know, at least I can contain the damages out here from what happened earlier. But, yeah, you can see me kind of, like, adding a little bridge over here. And you already know I'm going to want to add bridges to this, um, map out here, too. I think it actually does look pretty cool with the, um, custom cricket bridges. I do also want to put the roadways, I, I do want to put some of the cricket roadways underneath the existing roadways in the map, too. And I, I wish I could do this with, um, invisible road textures, but unfortunately that would also make the, the cricket roads invisible. Can I stop hiccuping for two seconds? Maybe drinking a massive amount of vanilla coke before this was not a very good idea. But anyways, right now we're starting to get some of the last of the walls down out here. I'm also clearing out a bit of an area for the eventual railroad through the town, which I think will look pretty cool. But anyways, we're starting to get to just about the end of this episode, so I'm going to start doing my sign-offs here. If you did go on to enjoy, you know what to do. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now. Have a great day or night. No matter where in the world you